Hi guys, Al here with Hell's Paradise Episode 10 Review. The episode starts with Fuchi stopping Tamiya and Gabamaru from clashing because he wants to understand the situation and gain information. Gabamaru bows and asks them to be allies with him because he knows he will need all the help he can get in order to fight those Tensin. Then we see them discuss what they know. This part again shows that Gabamaru is very observant and cautious which again makes his recklessness in the previous episode look like bad writing. Next we see Tamiya and Fuchi are in shock after hearing everything. Tamiya agrees to help Gabamaru because he doesn't want a pardon from the Shogun. He just wants to defeat strong beings and make his name immortal. They all agree to help each other after laying out their terms and conditions. Gabamaru suddenly sees that Mei has grown up and can talk a bit now. We see Gabamaru asking Mei many questions. I wasn't expecting something like this so now I'm really interested to find out what's up with Mei. Elsewhere we see Senna talking with Hoko about the island. Senna says that he thinks this is a man-made religious situation created by someone and this person only allows people to leave the island after they turn into flowers. He also says that if this place is really man-made then they can achieve all their objectives. This part pretty much confirms what I have been saying since the start about this island being man-made. Honestly it was far too obvious from the get-go so this part didn't surprise me at all but I think it was supposed to surprise the audience so I'm not sure how to feel about this. Moving on we see Gabamaru asking Mei to tell them how they can defeat the Tensin. Mei mentions the word Tao and says some other things in a broken manner because she is just learning to speak so it confuses the others. At the same time we see Hoko telling Sajri and the others that Tao is a power that flows through everything and it grants superhuman powers and endurance to those who can control it. Meanwhile we see Nurugai trying to make Shion teach her how to use a sword. We see Shion can sense Tao because he is blind and that's why he can visualize everything in his mind although he doesn't know it's called Tao. I think Gabamaru can use Tao without realizing it and if that's the case then it explains his powers and endurance. Next we see Cheyenne show his understanding of waves by killing the monsters around him. Elsewhere we see Gabamaru and the others getting attacked by some monsters. Tamiya says they can learn to use Tao by fighting these monsters. Then we see Tafa and Mudan fooling around. Tao Fa says throwing those humans into the pit is a great idea. Mu Dan says the humans won't be able to escape because they will get blocked by the walls. I found this part quite funny because of the censoring. It was as if they want to show certain things, but at the same time they can't really show them. At the end we see Chobei and Toma are out of the pit. We see Chobei has figured out the weakness of the Tensin. A creature calling himself a Doshi appears before Chobei and Toma and tells them that the Tensin sent him to observe them. He says some other Doshi has been sent to all the people that came to the island. He tells Chobei and Toma to go back to the pit. Chobei starts fighting the Doshi. They fight for a bit and then Chobei gets knocked out by the Doshi. I don't think Chobei is down for good because we saw him drinking blood from those monsters and so I think he can somewhat use Tao now. Overall it was a decent episode but things are far too predictable for my taste so I'm not enjoying this as much as other people. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video and want to see me make more then hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to say something then leave a comment. You can also follow me on Twitter or check out my Facebook page. Links are given in the description. Until then see ya.